Your spot's never secure. I mean, you got guys on your heels that that are that are just as good, if not, you know, a little bit a little bit behind you. But I mean, you're always getting pushed by even the young guys we brought in. I mean, the guys we brought in like Kenny Young, Zach Whitley, you know, they they're coming in and compete for a spot. Cam Griffin. So I mean, we got guys that that are right on your heels trying to trying to compete for a spot as well. So I mean, it only makes everybody better because we're all competing day in and day out. Nobody's complacent, and we're just trying to get better every day. You got the horns going off at around six o'clock, loud. So you gotta wake up, open the door, acknowledge that you know you're up. And then you got breakfast. Uh, pretty much after that, you have your meetings with your coaches. Then you go lift. After you lift, we have our walkthrough. The whole team gets together and walks through and goes through the plays and just the installs and new plays for the day. And then uh, you get your lunch and everything. And after that, we back out here for practice and uh, go into meetings and pretty much be in meetings till about 10.30, 10.30, maybe a little later. And then after that, you pretty much have the night to yourself. It's good and bad, you know, just be acknowledged for something that you sparingly do, but people think you're so good at, you know, but I'm, I'm me personally, like, I'm not worried about what other people say about me. I'm more concerned about, you know, what we're doing here at UCLA and this, and this group that we've got right here. And my role up to this team is to be a linebacker and be the best linebacker I can possibly be. So, I mean, you hear it, but I just ignore it and try to become the best linebacker I can be. And hopefully one day people will acknowledge me as a, the top notch linebacker, so that's pretty much my deal. The whole atmosphere, just the linebacker room, is just, you know, it's intense. You know, we're just coming to work every day, but we have fun too at the same time. So I think we're the best group on the whole team, but that's just me. People are looking at me as a leader, and I'm a sophomore, you know, so it's kind of weird being put in that position, but, you know, I'm learning to embrace it and, you know, just trying to use my knowledge to teach the younger guys. And if anybody has a question and kind of establish my role is like, you know, a leader on this team, and that's really what I'm trying to solidify my role. When we're practicing without pass, you gotta kind of find that happy medium, and it, sometimes it gets crossed by us, sometimes it gets crossed by the O line when we're trying to fill our gaps and stuff like that. But I mean, it it all kind of works out. You know, we're definitely being passed, trying to you know fitting our gaps in the offensive alignment and trying to move us, and we're just kind of sitting there. And yeah, I'm bit, I mean, it's it's all a part of the no pass. I mean, once we get in the pass, everything all that will be cleared up. And, you know, we can go ahead with the linemen and stuff like that, so take care of it. The practice is starting to ramp up and everything, and we're starting to move faster, you know, and as the days go on, we're gonna get more and more, more and more into it and just more violence. So I'm definitely looking forward as the days roll on, but today was a good day, you know, day two. We really definitely ramped it up. The music was blasting because more was yelling, and we're going at it full speed, and I just can't wait for the next days to come forward.